the continu this is the continuation of the lesson I was now doing the because Satan have a problem. You have a problem with, with the lesson being uh, the lesson coming out, so now let us go. I'll read in Daniel 12 and 1. Because what I was showing you is this is things where we didn't see yet. Yeah, you're going to be seeing a type of chaos in the Middle East. Get you, they always are chaos. And the only reason they are chaos like that is because of the small hats, right? Troops parade in your streets. Um, we over here on the west. What type of something on Google? Why is Why is Eastern Europe safer and Western Europe? No, not that one I mean. Why is West always better than the Eastern cities? Let me see. Why are the East side? Our cities poor and the west. Mm. Why is the west so powerful? The west has a series of unique advantages compared to Asia, such as the proximity of coal mines, the discovery of the new world, which il il alle alleviated ecological restraints on economic growth, land shortages, and profits from colonization. So you see. Great divergence. Right, so the eastern side of the world have wars because when you think about it, um over here on the western side of the world not never really happened no 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 big war whatever break out here on the west when world war one and world war two fought where, where was it fought right Sites. Sites. Our top ten war battlefields visit right school ships. Yeah, boom boom boom. Where, where was the uh, locations? Uh, pop sites locations. Yo, fuck who want to visit anyway, right? Right, where's the location of World War One? Trench warfare in World War One. Trench warfare reached its highest developments on the Western Front during World War One. When armies of millions of men faced each other in a line of trenches extending from the Belgian coast through northeastern France and Switzerland, right? I want and now for two. Where did what location of World War Two take place? In World War Two, there were battle sites in Africa and Asia. However, most the most important war scene was in Europe. 
It was divided into two fronts where the most important World War II battles occurred. And why did it not happen in the western side, in the Caribbean, South and Central America? Why? Why? A good question. A question to ask. So, so for the most part, people in South and Central America do not see or is not accustomed with this year. And this year. And you know, uproars are the people and um, sites like these here. Yeah. When over on the east, this is a normal site for a young boy or girl, right? Like this young man here, it's like a normal thing. We waking up, he is waking up to this every day this year we now accustomed with this year on the west and these things and worse are prophesied to happen over here on the west and there's only one way to escape these things right only one way um okay Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh is his treasure okay wisdom and knowledge going unstable here yeah. this is the only thing going unstable yeah. this is the only thing going on make you be faithful and stand strong when times like this happen or worse and was no always and was as the scriptures prophesy to say that right these things are a normal sight for these people this is where Israeli air strikes at Gaza and Palestine over there on the eastern side of the world where we are is on the western side of the world the scriptures talk about when they shall say peace and safety right a lot of you people in this side of the world Basically, you're really going through a lot of peace. You know, you're really living comfortable. But we condition on our minds to experience these times. Right? This book has Second Thessalonians, I mean First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, and travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Peace and safety. It be so it's so peaceful and safe in this world, uh, on this side of the world, that that is one of the main um, teaching points of modern pagan christianity of the anti-messiah and anti-messiahs on them right they just always talk peace 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 and prosperity they just teach that is, that is the go-to doctrine because people they're comfortable they're dwelling in comforts <laughs> dwelling in comfort but we have our comforter right There's these words is what comfort comforts us this is the comforter therefore comfort first assurance for it for comfort one another with these words so all those who are looking for the comforter and the comforter which is the holy spirit which is the body of angels who come and make you understand these words that we have here this is our comforter these people have no comforter 
right? I tell you that in the book, um, Ecclesiastes. Um, Ecclesiastes is a four. One. Right. Ecclesiastes 4 and 1 says, So I returned and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun. And these things are oppressions here. What you see in here? This is, how, this is oppression right here in your face. And also, we are going through oppression. By, but the oppression, you see, the thing is with cancer, it just get worse. This thing ain't going on get better. Eh? Right? The oppressions that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no comforter. And on the side of their oppressors, there was power, but they had no comforter. See? It's on the side of the oppressors was power. The oppressors, and I'm calling the names, right? No, no. I'm not calling the names at all. But these are the oppressors right here, look at me. These people here. These are the oppressors. Right? They own everything. Come on. They used to clean. They have power. But the people then have no comforter. They have none to comfort them. So they're looking for comfort in this world. And they're trusting in the shadow of Egypt for comfort. Which is a mad thing to do. You don't trust in your enemy for comfort. You don't ever trust in your enemy for comfort. Ever. Hey, sir. All I have to go through, eh? Let's go to the Tian and go on the Vial. As the scripture say, right? The people who turn to who smite in them, that they does look for Egypt, to Egypt. Isaiah to Tian, when it says, Woe to the rebellious children, say the Lord that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin that walk to go down in Egypt and have not asked that my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt the trusting in the shadow of Egypt when you trust in something is because you're comfortable with that person you would trust come from the Hebrew as I was saying a good thing to do if you don't know the word Hasa, right? No, not ha, not ha. This is the ha here. This is the ha, hasa, hasa, right? It means to seek refuge, to flee for protection, to put trust in, confide or hope in. The shelter look to Egypt for the shelter for the protection to make them comfortable that is what they look to Egypt for they don't turn to the Lord who smite in them no they don't do that they look to the so called white man who not going to give them shit he said don't care about nobody right Oh shucks, I probably say I'm 99, yes? The hell? I'm going crazy, yo. Ah, the game is 66. Wow. The smart. The smart. I flip the 6 upside down. Get my. The 9 upside down, get my idea. 66. Isaiah 9 and 13 says, For the people turn it not unto him that smited them, neither do they seek 
Yahweh Bar Shami, our shy of hosts. See? To do turn to the Lord and to do seek after the Lord. To turn to Egypt and to seek after Egypt. You understand? Know For comfort. Because why? The Western never had, and that goes straight into the prophecy of um is that revelation chapter 18 Say virgin daughter of Babylon. Listen, what? I want to look for it. Are you going to forget how it is? I know that piece of The blood clot is Isaiah 47. I'm telling you, eh? <laughs> Isaiah 47. Now, one it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Because these things here, which is a, a regular occurring thing on the east, since 1914 to now over on the eastern side of the world always have occurrences of this from world war one world war two the gulf war the cold war the freaking um the war with afghanistan this war here the war between russia and, and and um ukraine all these things these are regular occurrences over in um, the land of Ham, you have plenty of these sites as well. When over on the west, people basically, for the most part, is all smiles. But according to the scriptures, this is coming here very soon. And you people who don't want to conform your life to serve the Lord, when these times come, you will be caught on our ways. Right? When the people of the Lord who serve in the Lord going to be in a safe position, you will be in a very unsafe position. Because they didn't listen. And for not listening, that is what is going with you. It does end up in trouble. Yeah. Being hard. Put your ass in fucking trouble. That is what going on with you people. You don't turn to the Lord who smite you. Know? Right? You want to do your own thing? Well, do your own fucking thing now. This place is going to be destroyed just now. Sure. We hope in the Lord that the Lord comes back and delivers his people quickly from here because this place ain't for us. Shut up. This is not our place. Scriptures tell us that the Lord have a place of rest for us. And you so call white people going down and uh, you're going into slavery. Shut up. We ain't going to sugarcoat nothing and try and tell you people that you're not going into slavery. You white people, you so call white people, make me mad every single day. See a quote yesterday. The world belongs to the furious men who don't show their anger or something like that. You feel Lot Lot wasn't pissed? Lot was pissed, the scriptures tell you that. Because and because he was pissed, as you say in the book of um, Daniel, no not Daniel, Ezekiel 9 and 1. 
I mean, I am for. It said for the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right? Because Lot was so vexed. Second Peter 2 and 6 it says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man, which the righteous man translates now into the elect, dwelling on, among them in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds. See? And that is what going on with the elect today. Their soul is vexed on a daily basis. But we can't show the anger that we have inside of us in going and taking it out on these wicked people. Like, uh, you know, like it, as it really should be. You people don't deserve to live, but the Lord will take you out of the land that you're living very soon. And he will give his men the power to also do the same. So you people beware. <laughs> Anyways, with that, I'll close off and give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Akakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great men, so not rule well, peace, blessings. And salutations goes to the elector camp, Shalom, who flew in the